Okay, this is officially take one of the planet Jupiter from Mount Pinos, California on July 5th, 2019. I had some technical difficulties earlier and they are now resolved. So this is the planet Jupiter and it's a great red spot and three moons. Look at all that. Three moons are obvious on the left side. One of them is Io, another one's Callisto, and I can't remember what the, uh, what the other one is. The planetary disk is in the center. You can see cloud belts and you can see the uh, lower left side of the planet. There's a little blob. That is the great red spot. Big honking storm on Jupiter. Been there for a few thousand years at least. Seeing it here through a uh, Photonis 4G image intensifier with P43 phosphor, aka green phosphor, and it's looking through a narrowband methane filter, which squashes the light down to a sliver of red, attempting to uh, reduce atmospheric seeing issues. And I think it's doing a reasonable job. We've got a Sony Alpha 7 III camera set to 1 30th of a second shutter. ISO is 500. And this is essentially a real time video. You got the disc, the red spot, and three moons all in a real time video. Try that with visual. I guess it's possible, but the contrast issues typically make one or the other visible, or one visible and the other blown out. Not the case here. They're all showing up. Um, the moon is just about on the meridian right now. In fact, I think it is on the meridian. I had a little earlier, and I, my microphone wasn't working properly, but it is now. So we got a Takahashi Milan 250 telescope, by the way. There's two 2x Barlows involved, so the negative focal length uh, F ratio on the scope is F12, but with the two 2x Barlows, that takes it up to F48 at least. I'm not sure that one of the Barlows might be more than 2x. So my occasion on here could be 350, 400 power equivalent, maybe somewhere in there. I will calculate it later. But you got it in real time. Looking pretty good. It's about as high as that planet's gonna get since it's on the meridian. We're three to four weeks past opposition. So it might have been a hair bigger a month ago, but it's looking pretty good still. And uh, got it from a chilly place in the middle of July. It's in the 50s right now, but we're at 8,000 feet. That's what happens when you got some altitude on your side. So that's the planet Jupiter with a Photonis 4G immense intensifier P43 phosphor narrowband methane filter from uh, Omega Optical. Ooh, forgot. Yeah, I think it's them. Uh, I'll have to double check that too. But um, in the red spot there, you can see the end on the left side, just below the equator, right? You got the bright band, dark cloud bands, either direction, up or above, below, and then just below the lower equatorial dark band is that little blob on the left, and that is the great red spot. So, I'm going to call it quits and move on to Saturn and then deep sky. Okay, that is it.